Hey everybody, welcome to workout number five. I'm Steve Jordan and I'm gonna take you through your ultimate cardio workout plan anywhere. Today we're gonna to do some cardio plans that are gonna be basic, simple, but really effective. You could do it anywhere. I wanna make sure that you warmed up and if you didn't, go right over here and click on one of the warm ups because warming up is important for any workout, especially this one, because it's gonna be high intensity cardio. We're gonna be burning calories and we're gonna be kicking your butt. Here we go. So the first one is gonna be jogging in place. All right, so we're starting with a light jog just to get your body warmed up. We're letting those feet come off the ground. Our, up, our body's upright. We wanna get into a nice breathing pattern. In through the nose and out the mouth. Okay, pump your arms. And we're gonna start the first round a little bit light, moderate, because we wanna keep you, we wanna get you warmed up, okay? You're already warmed up, but we don't wanna kill you on the first one, because we got some really tough exercises to come, really fun ones though. All right, the next one is gonna be mountain climbers, one of my favorites, all right? Your heart rate should be elevated now. We're gonna get down on into a push-up position. Your right leg comes up, and we're gonna alternate. Left, right, left, Right, left, and right, left, right, and we're picking up the pace. Left, right, left, right. Real light touches on the ground. You almost don't even want to hear anything touch the ground. Okay, so you're like almost floating in the air. Okay, right, left. Good, keep it going. We've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one. Nice job. That was really tough. All right, the next one is a really fun one. I actually did it when I've trained kids. Kids love really fun names because they don't want to do something that sounds like a mountain climber. It sounds too hard for them. A little too much in the uh, intimidation factor there. So this one here I call a jumping bean. So imagine we're going to bring your feet together, your hands are crossed over your chest, and you're going to jump back and forth and you're gonna jump in circles, and you're gonna jump back and forth, and jump in circles. Jump back and forth, and jump in circles. Back and forth, change up the direction of the circle. Back and forth, and change up the direction of the circle. And I'm getting dizzy, and I forgot which way I was turning. Here we go. It doesn't matter, as long as you're jumping. Side to side, diagonal, front and back. Side to side, front and back, diagonal, and in circles, you're like a jumping bean, a Mexican jumping bean, a Spanish jumping bean. It doesn't matter. You are jumping, you're burning calories, and your heart rate is getting up. All right. Oh man, this is fun. Here we go. The next one is gonna be jogging in place. High knees. Okay, here we go. High knees up high. High knees are high, and a great way to do that is to keep your hands up and make sure that your knees touch your hands each time so they're coming up high. Whew. And I'm burning. Oh man, this feels great. Whew. Knees up high. We got 10 seconds. Hang in there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! Say yes, I can. Say yes, I can. Yes, you can. Because I can, and if I can, you can. Anybody can do this. Just stay with it. Here we go. Ice skaters. So this is a great exercise for people when they're doing stuff to the side. If you're playing a sport, things are very, in, in, in the sport world, are, uni, are uh, very multidimensional. We often exercise in one plane of motion, forward and back, but this time we're gonna go side to side. And ice skaters is jumping to the side and touching the ground. And we go side to side. Here we go. And if you can't touch the ground, touch your knee. And we just wanna go side to side. And what does this look like? It looks like a speed skater. And your arms are coming back, right? An Olympic speed skater, this is what they look like their arms come back. And if you start getting your arm action in there, it becomes a total body workout. Good, let's go 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. I know you're probably thinking my counting is really slow. I was just thinking that, and you know what? I know it can be, I hear it all the time. My clients say I either don't count right, and I don't, I don't keep time right. But you know what, they're working out, and they're following through, and I'm making sure they're following through, and I'm making sure you follow through, because you can. It's all up here, people. It's in your mind. If you believe you can, you absolutely can. We're gonna now, we're gonna do an imaginary jump rope. Our hands are going as if we were jump roping, and we're jumping rope for 30 seconds. Good, it's resembling the jumping bean, but our arms are moving here as well. We're shoulders. If you look at me from the back, you see how my shoulders come back. What that's doing is helping to strengthen the muscles of my back. And I'm going side to side, getting a little fancy. We're going side to side, here we go. Yeah, here we go, we got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, we're jogging in place. No stopping now. We're over halfway through. Ain't no stopping us now. All right, here we go. I hope you're having fun, because I am too, as you can tell. And we're picking up the pace here. More moderate to fast jogging, because this is where results happen. When you push yourself, go just beyond your edge. If you're leaning beyond your edge, you are changing. And change is hard. Change is challenging. Change is difficult. But change is not impossible. Here we go, all right. We got five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, mountain climbers. We're going down, here we go. Ho, and go, one. Mm. Keep your abs in, keep your head up. Keep it going, nice and smooth. Stretch, long and steady wins the race. We wanna keep it going, we don't wanna stop. If you have to slow it down, Slow it down, but do not stop. 10 seconds. Yeah, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. We're going into the jumping bean. Arms across. Jumping bean up and down. We're going around. Change direction. One more time. Good. Forward and back. Side to side. Oh, yeah, this feels great. And diagonal, like an X. Top left corner, back right corner. Top right corner, back left corner. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Here we go. We got high knees, are you ready? What? I can't hear you, say yes you can. Yes I can, here we go. High knees, come on. Get those knees up high. Ah, oh, yeah, this feels great. I feel great, I feel great. Yes I can. These are words and incantations and words of affirmation you should be telling yourself every day because you can change, you can progress, you can be in the best shape of your life. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. We got ice skaters, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Jumping rope, imaginary jump rope. Here we go. Staying strong, staying positive. You can do this. That's a home stretch. We're gonna go 30 more seconds. Yeah, dance it up, shake it up. Make it fun. I hope you're having some good music on in the background to keep you motivated. Here we go, come on. We got 15 seconds. Come on, let's faster arms. Go, come on. Here we go, we got 10 seconds. Faster, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You got it, come on, five, 
four, three, two, and one. You rock. Give yourself a pat on the back, a hug. You're awesome, you're amazing. Thank you for today's workout and thank yourself. I'll see you next time.